Hi guys, welcome to part 15 of my 2024 Christmas Village Full Tutorial Series. Mini revolutions and surprises. That's all I can tell you about this new part 15. I still lack a section for Santa's for the North Pole. And then I need to find a little space for one or maybe both of the Lemax buildings I just bought some days ago during my annual field trip to Peraga Christmas store. And then surprises, surprises. Uh, some other mini revolutions concerning what I can't tell you right now. First, because I don't want. Second, because I still don't know uh, about them. Uh, maybe I got crazier during my field trip to Peraga. But it's like that. Let's get you in touch with something crazy. Bye. Break bar, fragile for sixth. Here I have one of the last surprises of this 2024 season. I have an order I place uh, on August dessert. So September dessert, October dessert. Let's say two months and a half to receive this order here. From where? From the Netherlands. What is inside? Good question. If you have uh, watched my last video concerning my annual uh, field trip to Peraga Christmas store, at, uh, at a certain point, I think, during the final minutes, I've said that I took some time to uh, speak with uh, the, uh, the lady who is the manager of the Lemax section. And her. Uh, Please, listen. From the season, Department 56 is invading the Europe from the Netherlands. 20 or 25 years ago, when Lemax invaded Europe with their products and also all around the world, the invasion started from the Netherlands. So I told her, look, if uh, many stores in the Netherlands, not many, uh, a good number of stores in the Netherlands, so Dutch stores, this season add some Department 56 uh, products on catalog to sell, that, that is one signal that from the next season other stores all around Europe will have them. And it is a premiere. Because if someone would have uh, liked to have some Department 56 products in Europe, to buy them from Europe, it was priceless. Because of the import duties. So the rare store were in the UK, but with the Brexit, impossible and they didn't care all the collection from Lemax, um, from Department 56, sorry. The difference between uh, Department 56 and uh, Lemax nowadays is the following. Lemax has each season an extended collection of houses and figurines. Too much and nowadays they tend to be resin buildings more than porcelain buildings. But the Department 56 is the opposite. They always produce a limited amount of figurines and buildings for each season. And the figurines are always the same. 
resin and I prefer the Lemax ones because they are mo much more defined than the Department 56 figurines that are much more cartoonish, especially in the faces. But the buildings have only been and will only be pure porcelain. We have seen that uh, three of the majors buy from Lemax that I shown you that everyone would buy this season, this 2024 season is uh, uh, Christmas uh, at the pavilion in the park, the music box attraction, the big houses and the cake factory. All three of them absolutely not in porcelain, all three of them absolutely only resin. And resin is cheaper than porcelain. And each of them was more than 160 euros, so 160 USD the equivalent. Inside here, there are buildings, pure porcelain, from Department 56, and all of them are under that prices. Each of them are under the prices of Lemax, top uh, production, top Kennington production buildings for this 2024 season. That's why I bought them. And uh, the package comes from, uh, from, 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 I, had, I have seen a stick there. I will hide my name, my address from uh, Minidorp. Okay, maybe it is too uh too lighted maybe uh, let me reduce a little too bright let's say like that okay it was too bright for me so mini door dutch online store and here it is the main I will remove uh, simply these because there are stated some of my addresses. But, oops! Voila! And uh, package. Have I told you everything? Yes. So be prepared, Lemax in Europe, because if Department 56 has understood that they can get a good portion of market even in Europe and everything starting from the Netherlands will sure be in all over Europe in just a few seasons. Be prepared to see my collection of Lemax increasing, yes, but also from Department 56. I choose four buildings because uh, they are good for what I have in mind. I will not do a full review of them, nor I will do a full unboxing. I will simply show you well, very well packaged, okay? They have protected everything at perfection, okay? So the box here, the carton box is uh, three layers, no, two layers, yes, it is a two layers, then some protections, some shredded um, mm. carton protecting, so let me take one building, let me take two buildings, let me take out Some other things. Okay. Three buildings. 
and the last one is here they are well protected as i told you let me check what i have inside i have <laughs> the the catalog the lemax main catalog one of the main main, <laughs> main catalog yes because they as all the uh, christmas store in europe nowadays uh, they sell lemax okay products but this is a catalog that i got also a catalog from peraga last week and okay this is a good catalog and mini catalog and inside i have uh, nothing else simply because i already received the invoice when i placed the order so let me place everything inside the box once again to avoid the mess and i will talk about i will simply show you the the boxes so inside here absolutely astonishing protecting packages with pluriball also here protected okay guys so the four oops, sorry the four buildings i need to start from somewhere let me start from this one okay and we have the package from the original producer from department 56 okay i think this is those may be some different packages from uh, the us packages you are used to have okay let me also remove the plastic bag here okay i will not open the box itself i understand why they placed these plastic box simply because uh, it has no protection and it can slid off this is one of the traditional buildings i think it has more than 10 years i think in this collection but it is classic yes copyright 20 2011 okay 2011 enesco llc uh, so, uh, so department 56 because Enesco is uh, the owner of department 56 and this is Joseph Edward tea shop one of the classic from uh, uh, department 56 and the Dix Dickens village series so Dickens village series is equivalent to Caddington okay Caddington is from uh, is inspired by a Christmas Carol by uh, Dickens and this collection too it is inspired by the same um, the same tale you can see similar design from the box with Lemax buildings 2011 guys 2011 so 13 years ago and it is stated in different languages as uh, uh, as uh, nowadays packages should uh, French uh, here it is in French here it is in English in French a little a little description a little story about the Dickens uh, villages series series it is stated on the box and uh, this is something that should do also the uh, lemax maybe suggest what other uh, buildings or what other products can be uh, coordinated with this building here and i will talk about it what you're in the first maybe i will do a long video on 
first unboxing and full review of these four buildings from Department 56 and the two from Lamax I bought last week. So, next one. This one is one of from the new collection and generally Department 56 used to do pure white boxes for their products. The package is less uh, thick than uh, Lemax packages. Okay, this is from Dickens Village series and it is from 2024 okay it is the last collection on the market since um, I think October 23 and this is the Kingsford rug merchant okay Carpetier Kingsford or Los Tapetes de Kingsford in Espanol. Uh, I will not open it, but it is once again a porcelain building, okay? Uh, always from Enesco, so owner of Department 56. You will see that each of these buildings will be usable from every faces, okay? And uh, it I see also on the store, on the online store, this figure in here, but the face is too cartoonish, so I haven't both it. Department 56, Kingsford, rug, merchant. Third one. Third one, it is okay, from the side. Packaging, packaging, packaging. I will remove these two because I don't need it. And it's not very protective. This is porcelain building, cool peppers, ruby jewelers. And it is also for Europe. 2024 season okay and coordinates with a figurine that is the owner of the uh, of the jewelry of the uh, of the jewelry's jewelry okay okay yes but once again it is too cartoonish okay 2024 and exco and once again this is Dickens Village series. Last one, guys. I know what we are thinking. Where will I place all of these buildings in my 2024 village? I will not place all of them, but one, absolutely yes. And I think on the plaza. I think on the plaza. Last one. Let's remove some of the plastic bag. Okay. This is a different material. Okay. The packages are less, less, um, less uh, good than the Lemax packages but 
porcelain building Otto of Roses perfumery this like Joseph Edward tea shop as bow window perfect Victorian style this one is from 2023 collection so new collection 2023 collection and this one is 2011 collection uh, you can see I will never buy some of department 56 figurines they are too cartoonish the faces they are not well defined uh, what else guys can I see yes I know I am a bad bad person because I will not do the unboxing and review of the buildings but I think some one of you may have understood uh, during uh, the the season during the past videos that something like that could have happened and it did so i think this package is from last season and uh, this package is from 2011 the packages from 2024 are better suited but less absolutely less uh, good than uh, and another material this is foam this is another type of foam this is equivalent to lemax packaging much more resistant this one is less resistant so less uniformity in the packaging from department 56 but that's why minidorp used the so many fluible packaging to protect them because they are less protected the buildings inside i know why because uh, department 56 is not used to ship all around the world the products uh, as uh, lemax did in the 20 past years so this is more for uh, one continent only was made on one continent but those prices guys and the houses are not that exaggerated big but i will show them to you uh, very uh, very soon but i had to open the package and to listen if they make awful sounds and they don't so it means that they are perfect uh, intact and i can uh, reply to the seller to minidorp to thank them for uh, this service and uh, guys from europe yes the ones from the uk already knew that the partner 56 was at their disposal but guys if the partner 56 and i'm talking about who is in uh, france germany etc italy yes etc if department 56 has reached netherlands the main dutch department the, the main dutch uh, christmas store online christmas store be advised be prepared to see them and this will be absolutely good for lemax to understand that they have to increase once again the quality just simply look i'm my preferred ones are those two ones this because it is absolutely amazing victorian this one is because a shop like this realistic with a seller selling rugs needs to have some rugs outside good okay <laughs> uh, enough here for the first uh, uncartoon <laughs> because it is not an unboxing uh, I simply remove them from the uh, carton uh, box the the shipping carton box okay uh, I am a bad so I will not review them right now 
Okay guys, here I am with some cogs and my annual October flu. Very, very, very disappointed. But I need to go like that. I told you I wanted to add a couple of movements to my sections and the first one is the planetary system you have seen and not completed but you will see it complete in some hours, I think, yes. And then uh, this new uh, movement here, strange cogs, guys, it is not regular. When a cog is not regular like this one, it turns, then it slides, then it means it does not turn, then it gets once again in contact, then it turns, etc some strange movement this means that with some like some cogs like those ones the movement is uh, uh, stepped so it moves it stop it moves it stop it moves it stop very complicated to explain but very easily uh, very easily to very easy to see okay the final result then here i prepared also A little motor, motor, sorry, uh, the same I've already used for the planetary system and for the, uh, the Alice in Bologna section and for the second teammate section. Obviously, it's not the same one, but it is uh, the same type. Then I have something strange like that. I need uh, and this will be the container of the movement, okay? Uh, I need to place this cog in here, like that, and it will turn around, uh, not manually, but with the mother, the... But I also need to solidarize the motor, the shaft of the motor, with the cog, okay, inside because otherwise it will turn and it will slide like that and I don't want it to slide like that I want it to get solidarized with it so I need to do some strange thing I will prepare some uh, some stuff first of all I will need to use some AC adapter so I will fix it in some way, let's say, like in here. Then I will prepare some epoxy glue, component A and component B. Component A. that I will mix them together as always this is the epoxy that cure in five minutes so I have a work time of five minutes before it hardens good like that I will mix this like that like that if now I place some glue inside the hole there and here I have also some double-sided tape placed I risk that the cog here will uh, glue will uh, glue to the base there I don't want it to glue to the base because I need it to be glued to the stuff and not the stuff of the motor and not the base itself okay like that okay I will place it like that then I will get the motor into the hole like that 
okay but I want to avoid the glue in the next five minutes to uh, to get stuck to the um, I, 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 I need to avoid that the cog uh, get also glued to the uh, to the base so I will let this turn for five minutes like this in this way I will avoid the friction and for the next five minutes uh, the cog will be constantly in movement while the um, the, uh, the epoxy glue cure and this means that only the shaft will be glued uh, to the cog and not the cog uh, to the base okay because i avoid that it is uh, simply staying there for the for all the time so i will do something else for the next five minutes and maybe more until this until this cure until the glue cure okay the cog is still turning around and the epoxy as you can see is almost completely cured good now okay let me position the cogs like that then i will place this first one like this and please look now at the cog it turns it stop then once again it turns and then it stop as it slides away then once again it turns and then a slide away and then turns once again okay now let me stop here like like that let me get this second cog here that is simply a little uh, different in diameter with simply a hole here but the tooth the teeth of the cogs are similar and uh, let me place it like that let me have a check so you have uh, two cogs that turns around one on the bottom one on the top and they turn in different um, passages at 90 degrees one from the other so look at this one it goes up until here then the other one will join it there then the distance grows once again from these two points then once again it will get back in its position okay and this will turn all around here let me check if it can do a complete turn around because those two points started in this position here like that but i was saying let's prevent that the cover will slide away the the top cogs move too much there like this okay then i also have a 
cover because I don't want to let you see the cogs that obviously still need to be cleaned. Let's see. If it still turns, okay, guys, with the cover, it is covered, obviously, but let me add one more thing. Let me add one more thing and you will understand why this is movement. Okay. I will add this little guy here. Okay. Hoping that it works. Okay. This little guy here. This little worm here. Let's see. And let's see if it still work. Okay, so a little worm <laughs> walking around uh, a leaf nothing more nothing less and this is movement yes this is fun yes this is useful i don't know guys but it works and uh, i know it is slow but worms like this one uh, don't work don't walk Blee, 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 blee. very very fast okay guys i think this will be the second uh, moving or in motion or uh, something like that obviously uh, each time it moves it breaks a little the plastic the pla so i think that uh, uh, it will go better and better once the, the the plastic is getting a little less tight. Obviously, can it go faster? Obviously, yes. Uh, right now it is at six volts. Let me go at double it. Well, very hard to do. Let me use this screwdriver here. I doubled the speed, but I think it is too quick. But it works even at this speed here. But I think it is too quick and it's starting to force the, the engine, the motor is starting to force. So maybe it will, it will not work, but let's get a look at 9 volts.
Okay, it works even at 9 volts. This motor is supposed to work at 3, 6 and 12 volts, but it can work also at 9 volts. Maybe I will let you see with a closer look. Okay, and I will center it a little more like that, like that. And it is turning around the little worm. I know even the motor is making an awful sound, but it will be somehow hided on the ground and just the surface will be visible from the top. Okay guys, so this is the second movement. Okay guys, let me do something. The central soul, the central sun um, needs to be lighted by an LED inside. I didn't want to go with a simple uh, one color light, so I will bring to the scene this RGB flickering, changing different colors from red, green, blue, white, purple, etc. Okay, and so I will manage to get it connected. Let me go with some red and black. Like that. Okay, let's switch this back to 3 volts because the LED is at 3 volts and let me check it, yes it works, uh, the glue has cured so I can even place this like that but I will not glue it there okay and uh, I hope you can see uh, let me approach a little more the camera like that that is changing constantly the color of the light now it is red 
green and yellow okay blue white green it should go even to purple after the blue I think yes it goes to purple right now then white then red green okay and it diffused the light so these oops I broke so many things there but uh, and then obviously there is the other one for the motor this one is upside down okay okay I will paint this before doing uh, before doing everything else and adding the last planet then I will paint it well first shooting after the flu ravaged me I simply hope that my voice is good enough and that I will not cough during these few more minutes of this part 15 uh, last house for the left side of the layout last house not last building or last prop for the left side only last house and the guys it is a tall house uh, this is the house guys okay it is a tall house as you can see let me measure it uh, 37 centimeters almost 40 centimeters tall only the base took <laughs> 25 hours and 17 minutes to print this side okay 150 grams and 25 hours just for the base and the base is from here to there okay then everything else these house took one week to print and two no let's say three or four days to model okay let me start from uh, the main entrance there and this has one level two level three level four level under the roof and then a tower there a watchtower here so this is a, a common house for many people uh, main entrance door then not gothic arc but normal arc then a rounded window and the first and the second level is stone bricks then the third fourth and up there is uh, wood so the first two levels are in pure uh, stone bricks one lantern here two lantern three lantern and four lanterns there okay and those are real lanterns as i already <laughs> told you for the, the other uh, building from the left side so they really make a light and here you have the back side with the plug-in okay now uh, the house as you can see from this view here is somehow cross okay uh, protruding uh, outside but not over so the building is conical so larger on the base than narrowing 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 till this uh, watchtower here and the cross that you can see here 
okay and the roofs are all the same uh, and all the same design um, is yes protruding from the house but it is at the same level here okay it is protruding from the roof outside here and outside there but not uh, over the main base uh, uh, more elegant windows there and then uh, some goldish uh, blue tiled roof then from this side guys um, this is an important house that can also accommodate let's say a watch guard inside here okay it was used maybe to protect people from the weather to be outside even if there is a bad weather this is i know uh, i could have used some porches but not like that this design so some stairs to get access here and uh, in my original design those two connectors were um, supposed to be a way of joining two buildings uh, using a bridge I will not uh, use maybe yes I'm not sure but th there, we, there are a few a little few <laughs> parts uh, before the ending and I should decide where I want to go then uh, gargoyle this is the same gargoyle you have on other houses and then on the uh, clock tower gothic art for this window here more elegant window there some gold friezes there um, mistletoes etc some gold flower on the store of the of the window there uh, oops uh, i don't want the uh, wires to be seen from the outside then what else here uh, so uh, those particular roof that i designed are meant to be snow proof they are too vertical except for this part here there here and maybe the end here to um, uh, cause accumulation of snow on the roof they are intended to be like that northern uh, hemisphere uh, towards the north and very high amount of snow on the during the wind winter and if i add a too much flat roofs the, um, the snow would have accumulated on top of them so i made them shoof, uh, very steep in order to the snow to get but i will add some snow here and there I already did um, a test with the uh, last uh, compound I received from Spain and I've used it on uh, Rebecca's house. I will show you the result during the final recap. As always, a bench in, to the, uh, on, the, on one side to get people live even outside the houses, okay? Um, this is the same window I have on three sides the same uh, gothic arc window and this window is the same as this one they are the same level and then an extra level on top of this uh, very small room uh, narrow and long narrow from here to there but long uh, as uh, it is wide the, the house and I forgot also this lantern here uh, okay but this one is uh, not those two ones are not uh, functional uh, simply because uh, it was too difficult <laughs> to get everything uh, there with the wires in those little corners so those lanterns are not uh, functional and uh, um, at the end i thought um, 
why having those two lanterns there uh, when uh, this is the back side there and uh, it is uh, useless to have uh, working uh, lanterns but the house um, had those two lanterns but I kept them uh, standard lanterns so fake uh, lanterns and then the back side uh, this building is supposed also to have a cellar uh, and you can see that it is uh, um, almost the same design as I did with the uh, um, modest house, one of the first houses you have seen and a cellar uh, maybe for the wine etc okay um, and uh, the design is always the same three layers of grey then some uh, yellowish and some blue I'm talking about the bricks, okay, the stone bricks. Um, the rest is uh, three, no, two different uh, um, shades of brown for the wood parts. And then some gold here and there. An important house, uh, big house here is a livable. I will place some figurines on top of here, one, maybe two. The door is working, it can be opened and closed, but I will leave it like that um, because obviously I didn't model out the furniture inside. Um, and this, as I already said, is the last house for the left side. Um, I also modeled and printed. 3D printed and the main entrance for the left side and but it's just uh, uh, primed and black washed so I will not show you right now it I will not show it right now but for part 16 yes definitely and then I have another building ready for the left side but uh, due to what I did um, during the few moments where I wasn't feverish and that I will explain during the final recap I don't know if I will have the space to add that um, building that is not a house that is uh, some strange um, building but you will understand uh, you will understand uh, why I don't know if I have the space. Um, this is all for this house. Have I told everything? Yes, you have seen it from every angle. So this is particular because the, the, it is plenty of space inside, the plenty of room, plenty of windows, okay? Also plenty of windows and I still don't want the wires to be visible but while I'm moving the wires get everywhere uh, 3 volts so uh, external um, 1.8 millimeters uh, LEDs for the lanterns then inside each level uh, first level, second level, third level and fourth level have uh, an LED inside daylight LED not a flickering but a normal light and because I know maybe the design seems uh, gothic uh, 1600 1700 but no this is a house that is old yes but it is also modern so no um, to um, wall torch inside no flickering lights but normal lights inside and big uh, giant house uh, I don't have right now a tree for it and guys I know I'm uh, I've lost a lot of uh, time due to my October annual flu because guys every year in October maybe 
some days before or just after going to my field trip to Peraga store, I go, I, I'm ravaged by, by the flu. It's, it's a standard, it's a standard. Uh, I don't know, maybe sometimes I get a flu in May, June, and one flu in October, sometimes I get the third one first, but normally I get two flus each year. So this is all for this last house for the left side of the layout. Final recap of part 15 of the 2024 season and I'm starting with a panorama there because finally the background is there and uh, it is a little better than the one I used last season. So good contrast between uh, uh, plain colorful houses and uh, uh, white of the snow there. I still have a big hole there and use it and I should try to find a solution to add maybe some more space for an extra building or something like that. Rebecca's house has changed its aspect now with even the stuff uh, glowing correctly and I widened the wires as I usually do digging a groove on the in the styrofoam. Then I added also some uh, some grass on the floor and I completed all the fences all around it and I tested uh, the new snow compound that allow me even to do some snow that is uh, falling down from the roof okay and the effect is not 100% but this one was not enough shiny this one maybe it is too much shiny and once tried it is plastic guys okay removable yes but it had a nice plastic and the compound is somehow like um, some shanty cream when you use it and uh, um, as always the roof is too steep uh, to um, allow accumulation of snow on top of it but in some corners yes some snow and even there the snow is getting down so some snow i will use this compound i think for uh, other uh, buildings okay maybe i will add some more on rebecca's house but it is shining and as ice could be and uh, it doesn't ruin the, the building at all I, sorry guys I was saying uh, oh, forgive my voice but it is not it's still not 100% the flu guys the flu the flu uh, let me go here for a minute you have seen me building this and look at the effort guys this is supposed to be on ground level so I will dig a hole somewhere here or there I don't know then it is supposed to be the worm getting around on top of a leaf of a green leaf nothing more nothing less okay guys and this is half speed it is not slow speed it is half speed I can go quicker but I don't think the worms um, walk this uh, fast so this is uh, good and this is a way maybe <laughs> too fun way to get some movement in here uh, it still uh, needs to dry a little more the painting because now it is uh, slipping away sometimes but this is the worm getting around on top of the leaf uh, I'm still uh, undecided, not convinced if I will use this one or maybe a real fountain. Uh, I have the model of the real fountain, but right now 
I uh, don't know if I will use it okay so it is the best way I could find to simulate those worms I, I think they are called worms or caterpillar I, I, I don't remember right now and they work exactly like this so uh, front oops then the back they approach and they make this strange arc when they move so the head goes around and the back coming approaching the worm gets up then it proceeds once again and this is how I add a, a movement here but um, I'm not convinced 100% but if I lack movement I can always use it the house guys the tallest house it's a tall house not at all as the uh, clock tower guys but it is uh, a tall house from each and single angle you can watch uh, a closer view of the house and the main entrance I was talking about will be here uh, but I already told you and the point of view of the part of this left side is like this one so no house uh, is hidden from an, for, from another one and I still have a plenty of space in the middle to add life that's why I'm not convinced about the little worm getting around if I can get it uh, moving more smoothly I will use it okay uh, and I need to fix the motor because right now the motor has just detached I simply use it in the rush some double-sided tape and I will uh, switch off everything but oh, simply with double-sided tape the motor doesn't get there I will need to uh, glue uh, with ep uh, epoxy glue somehow differently then if I if I remember correctly during the intro during the intro that I filmed so many days ago I talked about revolution that is my small revolution i needed uh, an extra space for the um, santa's wonderland section okay and i find this solution there not regular um, styrofoam i also used the some um, plaster uh, to have more in congregated uh, or attached to the rest of the mountain I still have to finish the top there and to connect it correctly but let me remove for a moment the new house but the mini revolution is I didn't want to have some simple support for the uh, final uh, section there so I modeled some columns that are in reality atlas or atalante if you want yes the one from the meat that is supposed to have the word the earth on his shoulder but here I modified it uh, somehow maybe right now I'm an heretic but those two statues are supporting the Santa's section so ground then Atlas or Atalant then a, a rock that is modeled in some sort of uh, uh, of a strange column having large large uh, um, bottom large top and then narrow on the middle but i don't know if you can get or every details of atalant but it is 
depicted right now as an old man almost crushed by the weight on his shoulder uh, having a knee on the floor the other one no but it is powerful and it is supporting and the uh, Santa's section from the front from the back I simply used some standard styrofoam and then for the first time my rock paper this season then I also added some two extra um, let's call them stalactite from from pending um, uh, getting down from uh, the um, the top or the the roof of the uh, of this mini section and the graveyard is still there and it will have lights inside but the graveyard doesn't need to be illuminated like the main street of the sea of a city so the two lanterns they are one and two on the side of the main entrance will be enough to get uh, a look uh, everywhere and then maybe I will add some uh, shining crystal inside but right now I'm I don't know right now this is and uh, this is uh, something I modeled <laughs> during my feverish days and the solution I've uh, I found in the rare moments where I had a fever in the last uh, couple of uh, weeks uh, it is intended to be like this one is more towards the camera in front the other one is more turned uh, towards the side where I have now the second column there the second uh, Atalant and by the way guys the columns are not the same if you watch uh, carefully you see that they are uh, modeled differently okay uh, they are they are not the same design as those one were sculpted yes in the rock but not uh, identical they are different not Atalant not Atlas but the uh, stone column is different from one side and from the other and also this one is more black uh, black uh, more dark colors this one has more uh, bright colors simply because it is near the water so maybe some more some more ice on top of it than the other one and then instead of having something that is uh, cutted uh, and it is obvious that is cutted in a styrofoam I modified the profile okay the border there with some plaster even uh, on the uh, under the, the roof there and um, there it is still too square red, but I will join everything in the last uh, step uh, once I will have uh, painted the, the graveyard. Okay, guys, so I told you about uh, mini revolutions. This one is uh, another mini revolution, and obviously, I will uh, paint everything white on top, etc., and inside. It is like that so yes a graveyard but not as important as it was before but why not having inside this simulated the cave a graveyard so you are telling me useless to have a mini roof there yes but it is just for fun I, I know uh, graveyards are not fun but at least for me that is uh, just for fun let me place the house there once again okay it's not the final position but it is like that so here part 16 a big revolution another revolution and there guys and I haven't forgot but I'm still missing the all the wise old for Rebecca but 
it is modeled, not 3D printed nor painted, but it is modeled. I was saying yes. There, where I have the right side column, it was supposed to be there another building similar to the uh, left section design, but now I have a small space there and I don't know if it will fit there. Yes, I have some more space there and I can modify the the side of the of the mountain because right now it is too square it but I have to think about it but maybe you will see another building there on that corner there okay guys so nothing changed here absolutely nothing changed here uh, still missing the second team section oh guys once again, forgive me, but when the flu hit me, I can't work. So nothing changed there, but guys, here, a big revolution, another big mini revolution there. I thought, yes, the planetary system turning around, LED and by the way guys look at the LED it is a slow flashing RGB LED so it changed colors from white to blue to green to red to purple now it is red and during the night it is way better so this is movement and the sight and uh, visual okay so movements the green and the purple planets or moons turn around the Sun these one two turn around the Sun at a different speed then you have the mini system on the outside with a planet and two moons or a planet and two small planets not the solar system okay guys and they turn uh, at a different speed and the blue planet uh, turns uh, around itself and then the other two planets turns around the bluish and the red planet everything is painted in copper and the guys if you remember here i have a full piece of styrofoam and once upon a long time ago this piece here was there when where you have the um the squared hole now and this is 19 by 19 centimeters i thought if i have this planetary system at the same level of the styrofoam it will be too tall and maybe and so i was saying um if I, uh, I thought if I leave the planetary system at the same level of the styrofoam there, it will hide what it is behind it. So the plaza and everything else on top of the plaza. But right now, if I'm placing the camera at the level of the styrofoam, everything is visible. It was too tall. The planetary system was too tall but right now it is uh, always it is still sorry and visible it is still rotating it is still functional and by the way guys here I added some plexiglass so it is transparent because I wanted this to be a part with the effect of you seeing through it the movements every single movement and then also the ground uh, the floor is as always as not as always as the everything in the uh, left side and the bridge and the snake bridge the dragon bridge three layers of gray then some stones are blue and some other stones are yellowish but adding the uh, plexiglass there cut at the 19 by 19 then with some supports it is a good effort I think 
giving it some deepness and but not taking out the the pure effect of this mega structure there but the big problem was to cut the circular hole and then place it there because uh, mm, I decided to go with some plexiglass, some transparent plastic uh, during the final stages where everything was already assembled and not possible to disassemble so I had to figure out a way to assemble this with the, that groove that you see you can displace one side from the other and getting around and the main uh, all circular all I made it with some tools and it is four centimeters in diameter and uh, then I added some of the canal fences because why not a park I can get closer here obviously but I don't want to get the fences on top of the uh, of the um, transparent plastic there and this is taking too much space so I think I can get here and have a, a larger passage here for people but I need to modify it or use some different fences but a park like that and obviously I need to close the fences there but this can be a good point of view and guys if uh, you watch it from the side too it is a good point of view guys okay even from this point of view here everything it is it is uh, you get the the sensation the the feeling of depth there without falling down but you have that um, I could get closer like there okay and here it is rotating at the same <laughs> at the same level and there I can I still can have one more centimeters uh, towards the left and uh, this is um, the, uh, the other mini revolution I was talking uh, so many uh, days ago when I uh, filmed the, the intro of this part 15 uh, and where well, my voice was already ravaged by the flu um, so guys there another building and you have seen it's no more surprise all the department 56 buildings the four department 56 buildings and maybe I will go there with one of the department 56 buildings or maybe with one uh, of the two new uh, Lemax buildings uh, the post office or the um, the coach or the coach uh, carriage uh, or the carriage buildings okay and uh, up to you to judge if this is a good solution but I just remember how tall this is it is I can measure it I just need to take the ruler so this is as you can see six centimeters so the planetary system was six centimeters taller so it, it was six centimeters now right now it is at the same level of the of the um, of the baluster there and then six more centimeters would have meant being at this level here and look it will have either the half of the statue there and now i always have the effect of the movement and uh, um, some parts are white because I, I airbrushed on top of it some uh, very degree to simulate some oxidation of the, uh, of, the, of the copper and it can also be due to the uh, cold the winter okay 
the IC, air, okay, etc. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is a bad solution, a crazy solution, or simply when I'm feverish, I can get some. No, I need to be honest. When I talk, talked about mini revolution during the intro, I already had in mind to make a oh, That's why I talked about the mini revolution. So it's not due to the fever, but that one, yes, that one, yes, pure model design, etc. Um, but the worm, I'm not convinced that this uh, it is a good movement, I think. But the worm, maybe a fountain is better. It's still, it is a still movement a fountain because. I want to use real uh, water. Uh, surprise there for a new building for part 16 and uh, and the full reviews of everything. <laughs> so four, five, six full uh, reviews of six different buildings. It will take me some time. Here, nothing has changed, guys. Everything is still as it was. Okay, nothing has changed. And I will try to get in touch with everything else for part 16. Um, so, nothing else, I think, guys. Uh, see you for the, for the outro. And, oh, yes. I forgot. Hi Mac, still there. Okay, and uh, but I don't think this left side is bad. Obviously, too naked right now. Okay, too naked. But let's see what I can provide for part 16. The outro now. <laughs> no, 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 Mac. It is not flying me to the sky. It is flying me to the moon. Come on. The Voice 101, you should know it better. Surprises, the four new Department 56 buildings, the new house for the left side, the new movement, but I'm not that convinced about that worm turning around and around and around on top of that simulated green leaf. 50% mm -mm. maybe. 49% convinced, and then the revolutions, the mini revolutions, the square it all to lower down a little more the uh, planetary system in order to not completely hide the uh, plaza up there, and the atlas slash atalant uh, stone columns to sustain um, Santa's slash North Pole section on top of the graveyard as I was missing a space for that section and then and then the everything else you have seen but guess what I'm once again behind the schedule a lot behind schedule but it is not that fun to work each season during October and be hit by the flu, ravaged by the flu. And it's a tradition like my traditions, but I hate this tradition. And what else? Ah, yes, this week I will have one more day to work, one more free, total free, completely 24 hours to work on my Christmas village as it is November and uh, the day after Halloween it's always a day off in Italy. Yeah! So I will try to take some more hours and to speed up my work. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my voice, my flu, my awful English and see you for part 16 
but also for some full review, I think, in the middle, but only if you really wish. Bye, guys.